Hey guys, welcome to Food, Drinks, and Rock and Roll. I'm Chef Nathan Lippy, and today I want to show you how to do barbecue inside. If you don't have the luxury of having a really nice smoker that you can do outside, kind of like my Viking Gravity Feed. Ugh, I love that thing. If you don't have one of those, that's okay. We can still achieve something similar inside. It's not going to be exactly the same, but we're going to try to get close. So, let's get started. First thing I have, a nice little sauce pot over here. We're going to start with our barbecue sauce. Today we're doing country style back ribs, bone in, with a dried cherry and Dr. Pepper coleslaw. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm going to dice up some red onion. You can use white if you like. I just really like the appearance of red onions. Now I have my saute pot, my little sauce pot, on about medium heat. We don't want to go too hot because we don't want to caramelize. We just want to sweat the onions. So about a little bit less than a tablespoon of olive oil. We're going to add our diced onions. So we're just going to let these cook at a medium temperature for like two or three minutes. And you'll notice they'll start to get nice and translucent and really good looking. Now we're going to add a touch of chopped garlic. Not too much. I'm going to add about a half a tablespoon. We're going to let this cook for just a couple of minutes. Toast that garlic just a little bit. Oh my goodness. Once, you ever, you ever like cook with chopped garlic? As soon as it hits that oil, man, it just explodes with flavor. All right, now to this, we're gonna get into kind of some of the fun stuff. We're actually gonna add a little bit of Dr. Pepper and Jack Daniels, and I'll tell you why. Dr. Pepper is delicious, and I'm a pepper. Are you a pepper? I'm a pepper. We're basically gonna reduce some of the Dr. Pepper. One, to bring out some of the sugars in our barbecue sauce, and two, there's a ton of red fruits in here, like you know, black raspberries, cherry, currants. There's 23 flavors. I'm not sure what they are, though I've been experimenting and I haven't gotten the formula right just yet. We're also gonna add some Jack Daniels. Maybe a half a cup, add whatever you like. You know, play with this dish. If you like it to be more intense, add some more. If you like it to be less intense, add a little bit less. So we're adding equal parts, Dr. Pepper and Jack Daniels. And we're gonna reduce this until it gets nice and syrupy and all those flavors have compounded. Once your Jack Daniels and Dr. Pepper have reduced by about half, those sugars are gonna kinda get more sweet. You know, we're talking about sugars a lot, but we want barbecue to be sweet. At least in my opinion, I think of barbecue as sweet. Our barbecue sauce is gonna be tomato-based, so the next thing we're gonna add is ketchup. We're gonna add about four cups of ketchup. Now this is gonna be for our sauce, and also what we're gonna be cooking our ribs in. We're gonna add about two tablespoons of whole grain mustard. I like the way the whole grain tastes, the way it feels when you have one bite and it's got the whole grain mustard in there, kinda changes the flavor a little bit. Plus, I think it looks really cool. We're gonna add a few shakes of a Worcestershire sauce. Now we're gonna add our spices. Now Red Monkey, you guys know Red Monkey is one of my sponsors. They've got some really, really great spices and today I'm using a lot of them. The first thing I'm gonna add is a bit of paprika. Dried thyme leaves. We're gonna use some onion powder, some garlic powder, and some chili powder. I love that flavor, especially my barbecue sauce. Now the last one is a little interesting, but trust me here, we're gonna use ground cinnamon. Not necessarily because we're gonna taste that cinnamon flavor, but it's got this really uh, aromatic, bright flavor that's just gonna make all the other spices kind of brighten up a little bit. So about a half a teaspoon, a teaspoon, just a touch. And of course, some salt and fresh ground pepper. There we go, and we can turn our heat off and just give it a good stir. Mmm, it smells so good. Once those spices hit the heat, they really burst, get really, really aromatic. One last thing we're also gonna add is called liquid smoke. Something that you get from a smoker is that beautiful smoky flavor. It comes from the wood and all the smoking, obviously. We can't do that inside, so we're gonna try to fake it just a little bit. This is called liquid smoke. You can find it in most grocery stores, and it's really, really intense, really strong, so we're only gonna add a few drops. It's about a teaspoon or so. Once you smell this stuff, it's no joke. It's serious, liquid smoke, it's pretty cool. It's not quite as good as the real thing. Mm, you can smell it already. It's not quite as good as the real thing, but it's a pretty good substitute if you don't have a smoker. Once our barbecue sauce is done, we're ready to cook our ribs. This is how it works. We're gonna take an aluminum dish and we're gonna put our beautiful ribs. These are country style bone-in ribs. These come from the loin and they're usually pretty inexpensive. So if you wanna cook for you know a dozen people, you can totally do this. Just increase the amount of everything. Right now I'm doing four. Four bone-in country style ribs. So we're gonna take, say about 75% of our barbecue sauce. We're gonna save the rest to serve on top later. Now to this we're also gonna add one beer. That looks gorgeous. 
the beer is basically going to create a braising liquid, which is going to make the pork really super tender. It's going to be delicious. So we're going to cover this up with some tin foil. Make sure it's nice and tight. Just like that, and we're gonna go into a 350 degree oven for at least two hours. You can go four hours, the longer it stays in the oven, the longer it stays in that braising liquid, the more tender the meat's gonna get. So we're gonna throw these in, and we will see those back in a couple of hours. So the other part of this dish is a dried cherry and Dr. Pepper coleslaw. I know I'm using Dr. Pepper a lot, but it makes sense, trust me. So we have some red and white cabbage. We also have some carrots and some red onion. All the same shape, we're gonna do a julienne on everything. Now to this, we're also gonna add some dried cherries. If you've never had dried cherries before, think raisins, but way better. That's my opinion. So we're gonna add some dried cherries, a good handful. This is gonna bring out a really great little sweet touch to our coleslaw. In a separate bowl, we're gonna make our vinaigrette that we're gonna pour over the top. We're gonna start with some red wine vinegar, some Dr. Pepper, beautiful. Got some salt and pepper, and a touch of chopped garlic. But a couple teaspoons. And the last little bit, we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil. And then give this a whisk. Incorporate all those ingredients. You get a really simple little Dr. Pepper vinaigrette. Nice and sweet, a little tangy. It's gonna be delicious. Then pour this over your coleslaw, just like that. Now you're gonna to wanna to let this sit for at least an hour so the coleslaw has a chance to absorb all those beautiful flavors. The neat thing about using the soda is the fact the carbonation will actually start to pickle the cabbage just a little bit so it gives a really interesting texture plus it's really sweet and delicious. So we're gonna let this sit for about an hour or so. If you wanted to use a Ziploc bag, you could totally do that too. When the ribs are all finished, about two and a half hours, you can go longer like I said, but we've been going for about two and a half hours. We're gonna pull them out. I'm gonna take a little lid off. Now you see some of those juices have actually reduced just a bit. You can see right here on the edge, this is where the juice was, all the liquid, and that's reduced down just a little bit. So these should be beautiful and tender. Let's give it the old texture test. Just, oh my goodness, you just fallen, fallen right off. Can barely even pick it up. That's beautiful. That's what we want, a really nice, tender, beautiful pork rib. All right, now to plate this dish, it's pretty simple. We're gonna take our coleslaw from before, the red from the Dr. Pepper actually starts to change the color just a little bit. Beautiful. So we're going to start on our plate with some of our coleslaw right down on the bottom. Then we're going to add our ribs right over the top. So take some of your sauce and going to go right over the top. Just like this over your barbecue ribs. Well, there you go. It's pretty much that easy. Country style barbecue ribs with a Dr. Pepper dried cherry coleslaw. Make sure you guys go to NathanLippy.com for the recipe. You can also go to Facebook.com slash Chef Nathan Lippy and Twitter.com slash Chef Nathan Lippy. Thank you guys so much and don't forget to go to Ustream.tv slash Food, Drinks, and Rock and Roll every Saturday at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Uh, for, we're going to be live every single Saturday. It's going to be lots of fun. So I'll see you guys then.